Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing on Sunday afternoon, October the 9th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. I have races from three major tracks this afternoon, folks. Let's go to beautiful Belmont Park first for race number three, 204 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Duck Dance Stakes, six and a half furlong sprint on the dirt track, three year rolls and up, racing for a stakes prize of some $60,000. Contenders number six, Sunrise Smarty. Number three, this one's for Phil. Number eight, Bank Merger. And number seven, Rule by Night. Number six, Sunrise Smarty, a nine to two shot, has hit the board in three of his last four, including a pair of power run wins being embedded in this recent streak of racing consistency. Number three, this one's for Phil, has won six of ten in his career to date, sprinting at or about today's distance of six and a half furlongs on the dirt. Nice early speed abilities to complement. It's hit the board in power run fashion in three of his last five, including power run wins in both his third and fifth races back. Race 3 summary, number 6, Sunrise Smarty, tops the contenders list, which also includes number 3, this one's for Phil, number 8, Bank Merger, and number 7, Rule by Night, 6, 3, 8, 7, and the 3rd for mm -hmm. Belmont, the $60,000 Duck Dance Stakes. Let's go to Keeneland next for race number 9, 5.45 p.m. Eastern Post Time, this is the Judd Monty Spinster Stakes. Nine furlongs on Keeneland's cushion dirt track, grade one, fillies and mares, three years old, and up race for a half a million dollars. Tenders number 12, Patachak, number two, Aruna, number three, Tappets Fly, and number seven, Ember's Song. Great betting race this afternoon, folks, as there's no clear cut morning line favor. Number 12, Pat Attack, a 5 to 1 shot. The overall speed and pace profile later in this field, sprinting at her about today's distance of 9 furlongs on the dirt, has produced power run performances in five straight starts, hitting the board in three of those outings, including a power run win in her third race back. Mm -hmm. Number 2, Aruna, 4 to 1 shot, has hit the board in five straight, winning three times, including a power run win in her second race back. Jockey Ramon Dominguez was in her irons on six previous occasions, hitting the board in each, winning four en route to a positive 138% return on investment in the process. Back today for ride number seven. Race nine summary, number 12, Patch Attack, tops my contenders list, which also includes number two, Aruna, number three, Tap and Fly, and number seven, Ember's Song, 12, two, three, seven, and the ninth from Keeneland, the $500,000 grade one. Judd Monte Spinster Stakes. Finally, we go to Monmouth Park, New Jersey, for race nine, 4:57 p.m. Eastern Post Time. Eight and a half furlongs on the dirt. Three year rolls and up race for an optional claiming purse of forty-eight thousand dollars. Contenders number four, Primary Witness. Number three, A Fleet again. Number one, Bernie the Maestro, and number six, Hermo Silo. Number four, primary witness is the pace profile leader in this optional claiming field, racing at or about today's distance of eight and a half furlongs on the dirt, has hit the board in three straight starts, but two of those efforts, including a win, his last time out also qualifying as power runs. Number three, a fleet again, four to one in the morning line, qualifies as a trackmaster plus power pony, drops in class by four units as the overall speed leader in this field has been a power run performer in four of his last five starts. Race nine summary, number four, primary witness. Tops my contenders list, which also includes number three, a fleet again, number one, Bernie the Maestro, and number six, Hermo Silo, four, three, one, six, in the ninth from Monmouth Park. Bonus long shots, Charlestown, race two, the six to one shot. Number three, stylish touch, takes a big class drop. 26 track master units. Nice overall speed for this four and a half for a long sprint. Mountaineer Park in West Virginia racing tonight. Race eight, number 10 midnight break, six to one on the morning line. Drops in class by seven units. Nice overall speed for this mile test on the dirt. So handicapping from Belmont Park, Keeneland and Monmouth Park on a Sunday. With eight and four, the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.